Hey there everyone, welcome back to Best Green Homestead. In today's video, we're gonna set up geese inside this caterpillar tunnel. This is a farmer's friend, 50 foot gothic pro. Uh, we set this up, this is our second. We've got geese out here on pasture, I'll show you in a second. In with the cows, in a few acre pasture here with electric poultry netting around the whole thing. Now we got a second thing of electric poultry netting around this greenhouse to protect it so the cows don't wanna smash into it. So I've just tidied it up a little bit inside here. We haven't, um, we haven't really stepped in here since. Now it's below zero outside right now. It's way above zero in here. It's raining down. We've got that passive solar heat, nothing better. And you can't get a cheaper cost per square foot for poultry housing. So why not go with a greenhouse, a polytunnel, caterpillar tunnel, whatever you want to call them. It is the cheapest per square foot. This is a 700 square foot structure and it costs around $300 Canadian shipped from the States. Um, highly recommend it. We've, we've had great luck with this. Our lay rate is over double. The, the chickens we have in ours eat half the food and lay two to four times the amount of eggs. It's, it's incredible. Even compared to an insulated vapor barriered coop that we have that's built like a house um, you know, with, with good windows, no amount of windows is going to do as much as the, the, uh, passive solar heating that the sun is going to do in a greenhouse. This whole thing is a window. It's not insulated. So yes, it drops below zero, pretty cool at night. But when you have that heat, it heats up the ground and, and look at this, no snow in here. There was a little bit of ice and stuff from, from water getting in and, and freezing a little bit at night sometimes, but um, we've had some cold nights recently. Uh, even last night was cold. It's above zero in here. It heats up the ground and it holds some of that heat and radiates it up. Now switch around here. We can show you there's even some green grass starting to grow in here. Um, obviously a lot of it died, but you can look at that. We got green grass. We're March 5th right now in Canada near Ottawa, Ontario here. And it's it's going to be really warm in here. We're setting up the geese. We're going to have uh we're going to have it separated in two sections and then that way we're going to have two groups of breeders. We have three groups, but we're probably going to put one up in the barn cuz we only have a few of them uh, and have them in a little pasture area and then they're going to have their own big pasture area, one on this side, one on that side. We still have here you can see we've got the materials there already cut for the door we just haven't cut that door out yet because it was cold at minus 30 when we were setting this up um you can see that in a previous video on our channel there if you go to our channel and this door is done and uh i've just got some of the supplies piled up there i gotta tidy this up before we get or after we get the geese in there so we go now we're outside. You can see it looks a lot colder and snowy out here compared to inside. Now we've got the geese down there. Um, they're down, they had a pond area there. Sorry, my camera's not zooming very well. Um, and they're in here with the cows as well. So we got the cows over here and they've been on pasture all year and Here's the, here's the 50 foot polytunnel. So I've got to fix up this door better to get that plastic secured there, but I'm about ready to try and herd the geese in here. I'm just gonna pull the fence off the top, lay it down and see if I can get uh, my friend there to help me herd them inside. So just getting the last of this wiggle wire in the channel here. Now we've got the wiggle wire done on the door. I didn't put any here. I'm gonna try and just leave it since we got some on the frame there along the bottom. Now I just gotta cut out here. Now what I do for these latches is I just cut a little slit like this. Try not to cut extra plastic. I don't wanna hit the side over here. <laughs> and one like that. Here we go. And then I'll do the same on the bottom here. A slit. Oh. 
excuse my language. Shouldn't be doing this with my left hand. <laughs> okay, so now, and these hatches, latches, sorry, not hatches, not a hatch door here. Um, <laughs> these latches are nice, the self-adjusting ones. So it's a little frozen there, but they move up and door down as the door sags because inevitably your door is going to sag even when you put, uh, try and build it as sturdy as you can. Okay. Oh, <laughs> forgot to cut the plastic up top. Now that I got this wiggle wire up here, I can cut that plastic. Okay. So there. That's satisfying. Okay. Now we should be able be able to open the door. Except for all the ice down there. Damn it. Got some more chopping to do. Do a one hand chop, see if this works. One day I'll get a tripod. Who has money for that when all your money goes into poultry? Chopped pretty easily. Almost there. Okay, I'm a little winded, but uh, chopped out a little triangle here so that the door can open. Now let's see how far it goes. Okay, about as far as I need, because any further and it's pretty much hitting the fence. So now I can take this fence down. So here you can see, just pop the electric fence out of the top. And then that way it can slide down. Now I should have enough slack to be able to get this one and maybe the corner one. And then I'll just slide it down. And the geese should be able to walk across and into the greenhouse. Okay, so now I got the fence down, you can see here, temporarily. Now I'm just gonna put some tools on it to hold it down a little better. Now a carpet or a, a blanket or something over top of here would be ideal to um, so that the geese don't trip over this fence. I might try and find something to do like that. But this is a start. That or you know what I might just do is just bury it in snow and then they'll just walk over it. Okay, ready for the hard part, get the geese herded all the way from over there. I gotta get that fence down too and then herd them all the way over here and hope they want to kind of come in this direction and then hope that they want to go inside the greenhouse. They're uh, fairly easy to herd, but not the easiest and I'm not a professional geese herder. Just doing a path here now. We've got the tractor. We put a mat over top of the poultry netting so that the tractor can come in as we pulled it down a little bit, like we did here. Now he's just uh, gonna snow blow a path from the other fence area all the way straight to the greenhouse door. And we're gonna see if that works as a way to get them over here because the snow is so deep that they probably are gonna get tripped up in the snow anyways and that way they're gonna wanna follow the path straight to the greenhouse door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
ducks are good in the cold too. So here's the geese and the ducks and here's the path all the way down. Oh, the cows are walking down it now, of course. So we're gonna pull the fence down here, put this rubber mat over it, and we're gonna herd them through here. I'll see if I can get some of it on video. Once a few go, they all should go. You think so? Okay, maybe that won't work. They're gonna trip over the fence though, if not. Okay. All right, we'll move it then. Oh, well, one's over. Oh, and he's back over. Okay, we were able to get half of them in. They kept running off and flying off back to the pasture they were used to, but we're gonna go see if we can get the rest in the group of ducks now. There, the geese. They're gonna wanna go now. Hey! <laughs> I got a bird show Shine over the light. Me. I feel like I'm light. on me. You got a bird show over me? Yeah. I'm good, dog. I ain't scared no shit. <laughs> oh, the ducks are going ham! They're not stressed. They're not afraid. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Okay, we should, we should leave them maybe so they can. Uh... Yeah. Shine it once more, quick. Got some feed. Let them eat. Lots of water on the ground. We'll bring the water dish for them. already done eating. That's what you get when you have them on pasture and they eat a lot.